Mike Bond of USA Today Sports and MMA Junkie standing here with Neil Siri, who is just minutes removed from finding out his fight with Ian McCall this Saturday night has been cancelled. Uh, Neil, obviously very disappointing news for you. Um, can you just talk us through when did you first catch wind of the fact that this fight might be off, that Ian was you know struggling dealing with illness? Um, just about when I was to step on the scales, you know, I was on my, I'd done the check weight at 126 and I was called in, I thought I was going in to stand on the scales and um, I got a bad news. First and foremost, I hope uh, me and McCall is, is, is healthy, you know what I mean? I know he's in the hospital at the minute, but I hope uh, everything's all right with him. That's the most important thing here, you know, it's for your safety. Um, it's, it's sort of a kick in the bollocks as I'm going to be using him to say the fight's off, but um, he said the safety of the fighters is the, the, the main thing here. Yeah, and it's almost like it was a running joke all week. Like, oh, you know, Ian's had so much trouble. Is this fight going to happen? Yeah. Is it not? So when you actually find out it's not happening, what's your immediate reaction? Is it just, you know, so much disappointment? We'll get into the fact that, you know, this was supposed to be a retirement fight afterwards. Yeah. But is it just, you know, my family aren't going to see me, my friends? What's just immediately going through your head? Um, <laughs> I nearly burst out crying to tell the truth. I'm so upset, but as I said, um, there's nothing I can do. Uh, you know, me giving out about it and... Um, Whinging and crying isn't going to change the fact that I'm not fighting tomorrow, you know. So um, I'm going to go home. I'm going to sit down with my wife, and then I'm going to see basically what's next, you know. So uh, I mean, I know fighting is really the easy part for you guys. Mm. It's going through the training camps and doing all that. And I know you said this is going to be the retirement fight. So immediately, I know it's very soon. You said you're going to go home talk to your family, but mm. are you still wanting to have one last fight going forward? Oh yeah, a hundred percent. I don't think I'm going to go out like this, you know. Yeah. This was, oh yeah. Um, I had a lot of support coming up from um, from Dublin, you know. I done a, I had a fantastic training camp. I felt really good. I made the 126 like I always do, you know. Um, it's happened in twice, so it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a bad taste in people's mouth at the minute. Give them stick here and there. It, it, it's not, you know, it's hard to do what we do. You know what I mean? Cutting them last couple of pounds. People don't understand how hard it is until we dump them in a bath and say, here, look, stay there. Stay cutting weight there, you know what I mean? And you know, you're dehydrated and you're, you're still trying to get the courage up to go back in to get rid of them pounds, you know what I mean? People can complain online and whinge about what happened, it doesn't matter, you know? Do it, do it, show me you're doing it and then, then come back to me. Yeah, and it sounds like you're getting your show money, I don't know about anything beyond that, but um, is the hardest part just that it's going to be very difficult to replicate this situation, it being in Northern Ireland, you know, it just seemed like everything was so perfect right here, and I know there's a card coming up in London, you know, maybe you get on that, but mm. is there is it going to be possible to kind of replicate these circumstances, and it just seemed like it was the perfect, you know, storybook ending for you? Yeah, it would have been nice to obviously go out and fight Ian McCall, I was looking forward to fighting, mm. he's a fantastic fighter, you know, but... You know what? What can they do? I, I, no matter what I say, it's not going to change a thing. It's um, it's disappointing. I am. I'm disgusted, really. <laughs> to be honest, um, I don't even know if I'm going to go to the show because it's worse. Because it happened to me before when I fought with a previous promotion. You know, it was the exact same thing. I stood on the scales and then I went to the show, and it's just it's heartbreaking and watching everybody else do their work. You know, because I'm about to put a hell of a lot into this. You know, I was off the fight probably ten weeks ago, and I put everything on hold. To, um, trying really hard the job gave me some time off to um to look after myself usually i try i walk all the way up the job gave me near a month off to um <clears throat> to get into the best shape and I, I felt really confident coming into this but that's all sort of wasted now but um we'll see what happens all right, well, thank you so much for the time, Neil. I'm really sorry that this happened to you. I think I can speak for, you know, everyone. We're really looking forward to this fight, and hopefully we can get you rescheduled soon and, you know, see you back in there. So thank you so much for the time. 